All right, so this video is showing a bit of wizardry about how am I going to collect data from my students' progress monitoring and put it back in my master gradebook. So if you follow my previous videos, when you set up your progress monitoring for the students, there's a column over here that says note to self, where I'm encouraging the students to write themselves a comment. So, oh no, I'm missing this. All right, so do this on Monday. So as a teacher, I want to know that the student was giving their, themselves feedback. They were writing themselves this note because I gave them feedback, but now I want them to write themselves a note. How do I know that they're doing that? So over on my master grade book, I have a sheet called student notes. And student notes is set up the same way as all my other sheets. It's got their names. It's got all the same assignments across the top. So the question is, how do I know that they made a comment on earthquake safety here, that it was this student? And so I've got it. So just before I show you how, think about it. I need to collect data from every different student's spreadsheet because each student has their own separate progress monitoring. So I need to take all these different spreadsheets and put them here somehow and then make sure that I'm displaying it horizontally. So how do I do that? Well, there. so this took me a while to figure out, but now that I do it, it's awesome. So when we originally set up the student spreadsheets, we used Autocrat. And Autocrat has, when, it, when you run Autocrat, it has these columns. One's the merge doc ID, the URL, the link to it, and then all the status stuff. Well, it turns out that this merge doc ID, this is the gibberish ID that's up in the URL up at the top. That's how we had to link to the master gradebook in the first place. Well, this is what we need to harvest our student data. So jackpot, this is exactly what we needed. Okay, so now over here in the earthquake safety or in their first column of where you're going to be having the student data, the first assignment. So we're going to do equals, we're writing a formula here, transpose, because we want to be able to flip what the student was writing from here. And we want to import range. Okay, so we're collecting, we're going to be collecting from the student's document, import range. And so where do we want to, what spreadsheet are we taking from? Before we had quotation marks around that whole long URL up there at the top. But because it's already in our spreadsheet, we could just go over here to the Autocrat page and click on that cell. Yep, Autocrat cell G2. That is the URL thing that I want. Awesome. Autocrat G2 and then comma. And I, okay, so what am I going to try to collect? What do I need? I want the scores tab or whatever you called it on your student one or what, based on the subject. And then I need column E, E4, tell E50, whatever the bottom is. So let me do that. So over here, I need the scores tab, exclamation mark, E4, colon, E50. Close your quotation mark, close your parentheses. So what I'm doing is I'm collecting the data from, from the autocrat is taking me back to that the spreadsheet for this student. I'm collecting their column about their comments uh, and on the scores tab, and I'm taking, bringing in that range, and I'm switching it around so I can see it horizontally. So I hit enter, and loading. Aha, so same thing again. I have to say allow access. So as soon as I say allow access, that student's things show up. Awesome. And because it's coming from the Autocrat spreadsheet, all I have to do is click down here, drag this down, and this will give me the data. It is filling in all the way down, all the way down the bottom. Here we go. Loading, 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 loading. So this is collecting, if you look at it, we're collecting from Autocrat G49. So it's taking the student's data from over here. So it automatically is putting in the right spreadsheet like tag to go and collect it for every single student. So that is awesome. Wizardry saves all this time. The one thing now is I have to go through and say allow access for every single one. So you just go click down the list, allow access, allow access. But once you sit or you just board and sit there and do it once, then you've got it and you can see any of the comments that any of the students leave. So an awesome quick little thing that can help you then harvest data back from the students. Enjoy. Good luck.